Okay, folks, today I'd love to talk to you about something very near and dear to my heart. It's called topical steroid withdrawal. And if you know me personally, then you probably know for the past year or so, I've been going through this very condition and boy, oh boy, has it been a wild ride. And I just wanted to make this video to talk about what actually is TSW. What the heck is that? You know, maybe some people in your life have had eczema and they've struggled with it. And then all of a sudden, maybe it looks like their skin condition has completely gone out of control. Um, and it may be confusing, you know, like how bad can a skin condition really be? I mean, the skin heals, right? In a couple of months, that would just be completely not even an issue. But for these people who have TSW, these things take years to heal. So I just want to go in and, and explain that for you. Let's, let's dive right in. The big thing I want to cover today is defining it and then defining the biggest issues within the medical community surrounding TSW. So I'm going to use something incredibly advanced that very few people seem to use. It's called Google. Okay. And if we go in and we just simply type in topical steroid withdrawal, we get a whole bunch of results. Now, I'm not a huge fan of Wikipedia, but it's something that most people use. So we're going to go right in and just define what Wikipedia says about topical steroid withdrawal. Topical steroid withdrawal, also known as red burning skin and steroid dermatitis, has been reported in people who apply topical steroids for two weeks or longer and then discontinue use. Symptoms affect the skin and include redness, a burning sensation, and itchiness, which may then be followed by peeling. So, <laughs> you know, a very broad term. Um, and then you can see this, gener uh, this condition generally requires the daily application of a topical steroid for more than two weeks, but sometimes can occur with even less steroid use. It appears to be a specific adverse effect of topical corticosteroid use. People with atomic, der atopic dermatitis are most at risk. And then you can see pretty clearly here some of these photos. This person here is going through that red phase, that initial flushing phase. And you can see this redness here. It is hell on earth. So then <clears throat> I want to go into some of the um, more official documents. So here we have a PubMed article called Topical Steroid Withdrawal, an Emerging Clinical Problem. Um, topical steroid withdrawal, TSW, is a newly described disease characterized by erythema and burning following discontinuation of prolonged use of mid to high potency topical corticosteroids. No consensus diagnostic criterion exists. TSW is frequently interpreted as flaring of the underlying disorder or contact allergy to topical treatment. Now, I personally don't love that definition. But what I really want to bring up here is the conclusion in this article. Now, I highly encourage everyone to go through and read all of these articles. I'll include the link in the description, but just read this for a second. This is the conclusion. Many patients report dismissal by dermatology healthcare professionals, often driving them to seek help from unregulated online sources, heightening the burden of mental, social, and physical morbidity. Dermatology healthcare professionals need to be aware of TSW and offer support with shared decision making when considering treatments. So the reason why I bring this up, and if any of you out there are going through this, you probably know this fully well, is that when you go to a doctor and you bring up TSW, they might look at you funny. What is that? And if you go to a dermatologist, they're going to be a little bit more um, offensive about it. Not, well, defensive, I would say. They're, they're going to be like, well, I don't know what that is. What you've got here is definitely just atopic dermatitis. It's just uncontrolled, and here's the pharmaceuticals you should take for it. Um, and a lot of times, that will be more powerful topical steroids, 
or some other drug. Um, I'm not going to go into those today, but um, I'm just going to pull up a video here because there is a um, pretty successful show on HBO Max called, I believe it's called When Skin Goes Wrong. And there's a particular clip I want to pull up here because, again, for those of you who have TSW, you probably know this all too well. This is exactly what it's like. So let's go ahead and watch this for a second. Your problem now is not a steroid withdrawal. Your problem now is your eczema is kind of infected and it's flaring. I mean, ideally, I would love to just give you a two-week course of steroids, a week course of antibiotic, loads of emollient and wet wraps, and your skin would be completely different in two weeks' time. Uh, I wouldn't use topical steroids mm -hmm. ever again, I don't think. Right. And this woman here is putting her foot down. And this is one of the hardest things to do. It's like, actually, no, that's not what I want to do. So okay. we'll give you an antibiotic to take by mouth. Yeah. Um, and we'll change around the moisturizers that you're going to use. Yeah. You need to think about other options. And the other options tend to be either steroid creams um, or immunosuppressants. Yeah. So we can try with these other ways first to get the skin a bit better and then we can swap on to some of the immunosuppressant medicines that there are. I don't want to suppress my immune system but I can't really go on like this. You know, nothing that we have is without a potential side effect. Yeah, I'm kind of ready for some help. Okay. So. Okie dokie. Now keep in mind she's totally well-meaning, um, you know, she's not an evil person. She just wants to help this patient. Um, but you can see that she's like, steroids aren't your problem. You know, it's just atopic dermatitis. And to sort of settle the score here, I'm going to pull up this person's Instagram. This person is named Louise King. She's one of the better known figures in topical steroid withdrawal, uh, the, the community, if you will. Uh, she's got 15,000 followers. Um, and you can just see here from her profile, like this photo right here. This is what she used to look like, and that's what she looks like right now. And she says, thank you to those on here who supported my recovery. Four years of absolute hell was always made brighter by you. Keep supporting each other. Now, I wanna pull up this particular photo here. So you can see, again, this is her pretty much in the doldrums of it, and this is her, you know, well, August, 2022. So I'm gonna read this for you. For those of you in the depths of TSW, your recovery is very possible. It will just feel impossible for a long time. We are still here to remind you that your skin is remarkable and it can slash will rebuild itself from years of damage. Be strong and be proud of yourself. Save this post to remind you. To online dermatologists and GPs, my skin is miles more beautiful now than it's ever been. I don't moisturize and it doesn't react like it used to. I didn't change my diet or just fix my eczema. I spent years regrowing my skin thickness from medication-induced atrophy. Please look deep to relearn and modify your practice of the steroidal medication you are prescribing. It's probably doing more harm than good, and they probably just need to change their washing powder. Sometimes it's that simple. Lots of love. So there you go. So that's the main issue here is that we have a real condition that is ruining people's lives and it's not being properly recognized. Now, I have to give credit where credit is due. There's a lot more legitimate health practitioners that are taking this more seriously. And I'm going to get into that now, but it's, it's very, very recent. So I'm going to go into a paper that just very recently was released as a, a, a pre-publication. And this includes a whole bunch of uh, courageous people, in my opinion, including a gentleman named Ian Miles. And I say Ian Miles because this, this uh, gentleman um, is the one who's been making the presentations and making this more public. But their background is topical steroids are first-line therapies for numerous skin conditions. Topical steroid withdrawal is a controversial diagnosis advocated by patients with prolonged topical steroid exposure who report severe systemic reactions upon treatment cessation. However, to date, there have been no systemic clinical or mechanistic studies to distinguish TSW from other 
eczematous disorders. So now something I wanna focus in on here is actually the results of this paper and study. Clinically distinct TSW symptoms included burning, flushing, and thermodysregulation. Well, Metabolomics and transcriptomics both implicated elevated NAD plus oxidation stemming from increased expression of mitochondrial complex one and conversion of tryptophan into kynurenine metabolites. These abnormalities were induced by glucocorticoid exposure both in vitro and in a cohort of healthy controls exposed to topical steroids. Targeting complex one via either metformin or the herbal compound berberine improved outcomes in both cell culture and in an open label case series for patients with TSW. Uh, as someone who has been going through this condition, um, what I find major in here is that they're actually defining the difference between topical steroid withdrawal and atopic dermatitis or other skin conditions, which is uh, what, I've tried, what I've been trying to outline throughout this entire video. You have these two sides of like, one side is like, hey, this medication is ruining my life and here's why. And then you have the other side who says, look, we have no evidence that it's any different than atopic dermatitis um, and we don't have enough studies. If you go online and you just type in side effects, of topical steroid withdrawal, you're gonna see stuff like right here, like atrophy, um, hyper, hypopigmentation, delayed wound healing, um, and just a, a score of other crazy things. So the thing I wanna leave you with today is, now we've kind of covered the issue with awareness of topical steroid withdrawal, um, and the sort of uh, pitfalls within the healthcare community and actually recognizing and doing something about it. And I want to leave you with a couple of things. One thing is this website right here. It's called ITSAN, the International Topical Steroid Advocacy Network, I believe is what it is. Um, this website is amazing. They're out there fighting the good fight. They're talking to doctors. They're going to uh, seminars. They're going to all kinds of like conventions and just trying to spread awareness. Um, and I've been able to do some really amazing things with this organization. Um, so I really appreciate them. Um, they also have a Facebook group. Um, it's the It's an Topical Steroid Syndrome Support Group. It has 23,000 members. Um, and I'm not going to scroll down because some of the uh, photos themselves can be uh, pretty graphic and it is a private group. So you're more than welcome to join it uh, if you are going through this disease or if you want to learn more. And then something else I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up this photo right here. This is actually taken from the ITSAN website. So it is the identity of a person um, that they volunteer themselves. Look at this photo of this little girl here. It is a triptych of when she was going through TSW and uh, then afterwards. This kind of photo sets me on fire. This condition is completely preventable. Keep in mind, you know, topical steroid withdrawal can take years to heal. And for a child, you know, just a bad week or month for a child can feel like forever. Like, do you remember how long school years used to feel when you were a kid? It was like an eternity. Think about a young child such as her in excruciating pain 24 seven. There is no sleep. You know, that middle photo there is her in the hospital. That's just, I can't fathom that. And so me as someone who has been through this and someone who has a shred of empathy, we can't do this anymore. We have to spread awareness for topical steroid withdrawal so we can make sure that nobody, especially our children, goes through something like this. So with that, I will conclude this video. If you care about this condition, you care about advocating for it, drop a like on the video, comment, especially if you're going through this yourself. Let me know how you're doing. Um, if you have any questions, I'm more than willing to help you out. Um, it would be my pleasure. So with that, 
Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Peace out.